I mentioned that my GT Sport series will be a little bit different from what I normally do on the channel. We're going to try and play it properly, basically. Which sounds a little bit difficult, I know. But we're going to give it a go anyway. This series is going to be a test. I want you guys to give me input on what you want me to change on this series and what you want me to just scrap and add and that kind of thing. Let me know down in the comments about the whole video. Let me know what you think. Anyway, let's get to the point of this first episode. Now, I did awful in the previous episode. I did awful. I was using a controller. Now, after that time, I figured out how the game works. I played around with some settings and I'm now comfortable having traction control fully on when I need to race. Now, I know this sounds crazy because I never have traction control. I usually keep it off and just wheel spin to all hell, but traction control on, it's really weird. Me and my friend found that having full or off are the best options for traction control. If you have it on like one or two, it seems to be okay, but any more, and it seems to just kind of take over the car, car completely. Now, the assisted steering option, you can have that mild, honestly. I don't really feel that much of a difference with it being on or off. I haven't tried strong to be fair, but anyway. I've dialed in, I just I sound like NMLZ. I've got my settings where I want them when I play the game. Now, I got a drag. That's another thing that happened. I got a drag. As you may know, every single day that you do the mileage reward, you get a new vehicle. I happen to get the drag. And I have to say, I'm so happy that, I'm happy to confirm that every car handles very different. This drag, I remember it was much more slippery. Like it was easier to lose this car and I had to tune it a little bit differently. But I'm happy to say that every car handles differently. From how this Jag performed, it was flip-flopping everywhere. I couldn't do it. I spun out, like, instantly the time I first tried it. But I progressed. I persevered. I tried it. And I've got to say, overall, I didn't really like the BMW when I first tried it. But I've got to say, now I'm probably more comfortable with that car. And I will stick to being comfortable with that car in the higher-end class. But my favorite class in GT Sport currently has to be the class of the lower two. I'm not really a massive person that goes for the stupid cars, especially when I'm trying to actually seriously race. And again, I know I'm not the best serious racer ever. I'm the, probably the worst serious racer ever on YouTube. And that's what this series is about, me building up to get to a point in where I can actually properly drive in on these online races and actually progress in GT Sport. Because that's that's the main part. I want to progress in this game online. The Nürburgring is constantly being a really annoying race for me to do. It's the only race that I'm actually managing to find time to do properly, full on, because when I finish all my video stuff, it's past eight o'clock and I have a chance of trying to balance doing the race while reading comments and sorting out any errors I've made in the description, that kind of thing, where my videos just went live. So that's the main race I've actually been doing, which is unfortunate because the other two races I would much prefer to do, though they do change every weekend I believe so hopefully we get something different than the Nürburg soon because the main issue I have with the Nürburg on this race anyway is there's like 16 18 players in the lobby and they're all tr you're all trying to pass obviously and if you smash into the back of someone you're gonna get negative points for doing so your sportsmanship rating is going to go down because you're crashing into someone and rightly so but it's very difficult to try and actually pass people that's one thing I've got to work on, especially on tight tracks like the Nürburgring. It is so small. Your car feels huge compared to the track. And by the time you actually find a gap to pass them, the person's just going to push you and you'll spin out. And the amount of times I've been spun out online on this, what I'm finding at the moment is this race, the Nürburgring race, I'm having more fun doing on my own as the actual qualifier. Whereas the other events, I haven't actually managed to do the, the actual online races, which I wish I could do, because the SLS race, I got that down to two minutes. Two minutes. I thought that was quite impressive, especially for me. I'm not much of a proper race. I don't take the racing line. I don't know what the racing line properly is on most tracks, unless I take it like 10 laps, then I'll know the racing line. And will I forget it? Yes, I'm going to bloody forget it. But the point is, I'm actually trying. I, I want to show that I can actually try at something. <laughs> but no, I more just want to learn it from my own experience and learn the tracks myself and just find my favorites and learn to properly race on a simulator game like this. I'm having so much fun in this game. You will not believe. I've never had this much fun on a like, track racing before actually pushing myself to learn the track properly because normally I'll do the progression. You know, most of these games generally give you cars very easily except Gran Turismo, which is one thing I quite like. Uh, as I said, the, the issues I'm having with the game thus far is the fact that 
There's a lot of rammers already, and this is like people that are registered. So I imagine when the game comes out, there's going to be a lot more mix of people. It's going to be worse. Hopefully that changes. And obviously I'm in the very mixed bag, small kind of category because, well, I haven't actually properly got any progression in the, the ranking system or in, in my rating, that kind of thing. So I'm pretty much in there with the beginner crowd. So I'm assuming as you do better, you'll get put into classes where people actually try to you know, drive more cleanly because they don't want to get penalized. Whereas people in the current entry one, they don't really care. And you have to consider it's a much more mixed bag. So I will join this lobby in the, uh, my f best time I think in the Nürburgring is like eight minutes like probably 20 after sorting the traction control issue i i broke i, I went no so i it's probably like seven minutes 30 I'm, I'm completely wrong but the original time was like eight minutes 20 and i couldn't finish most of the races and i put traction control on which i assume most people in the lobby had it definitely improved my time and made me like cut like a minute off of my time so thanks dale for pointing that out but originally i was doing like eight minutes 15 and i was put into lobbies of people that did like seven minutes 10 like, how am I supposed to actually keep up with these people? So, the, the reason I, I think that is the, the case is there's not that many people on the game right now. It's a, it's a beta, and I think it's only Europeans I'm mixed in with. I'm not too sure if that's true or not, but either way, um, there's, a, there's not very many people playing the game right now. When the full game comes out, there'll be more you're open, you'll be matchmaked with people more like you, better driving skills, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think... Because it's a beta, I have to keep that in mind. It's going to hinder a lot of things I try to do in this game, but I will get there. Anyway, I think now, have I got a mark? I hate, I got a mark there. Without further ado, let me show you that I have improved on GT Sport. We're going to bring out the wheel, bring out the wheel cam, everything. And we're going to do a lap on one track of my choosing. Though I don't know if they've actually changed the, car, the tracks yet, so I'll have to... I'll have to find that out, but let's give it a go. Welcome back. Look at that booty. Mm. Let's get on with it. So let's get into the sport mode. This again is the online mode as we know. And let's have a look at the races. And the races are different. There's, there's one different race and the other two races are exactly the same. As you can see, my qualifying 7 minutes 38 is the best time I got on the Nürburgring, which is a massive improvement from what I did. And that was with a spin out keep that in mind then over here we got two minutes on this track which is possibly my favorite track of the game so that's what we're going to jump into right here uh, this track i've never heard of before it's the dragon trial seaside but brands hatch has been added so that's the only one different one in there i'm going to give that a go at some point but let's first go into this and show you the improvement friends let's go i'm really glad i got this as the car i think a lot of people actually got the sls i think the sls is a common car between a lot of people but the, the other cars that's where they all get mixed up but I got good ones. Now I'm going to start with no traction control and basically no assist except ABS on in here. And uh, this is what we're going to start with just to, just to kind of remember because uh, it's been a bit and I'm also going to be talking while driving. So that 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 introduces its own challenge because you, know, you have no idea how difficult it is to do both well. You do one well one better than the other there's no there's no doing both well it just does it doesn't work you don't see f1 drivers commentating do you and there's a reason bloody for that they commentate after they've done the race but anyway i let off there because see I'm, I'm just not thinking i'm not thinking but this is my favorite track of the ones i've actually been able to try thus far it's just it, there's, there's so much to it oh god we already got our first bloody cock up i didn't i didn't mean i didn't mean to look i'm, I'm trying to talk and it's not working attempt number two now this corner, this is the corner, this is the only corner that you have to really worry about that it can catch you off guard. That one you have to break really early. Every other corner on this track, I managed to break late and get away with. Again, I'm not no professional racer, so I can't 100% tell you that that's the truth. But for example there, I remember actually, I could actually go full, full flat through there. Or was it this corner? No, it was the last one. So some of the corners, as I said in previous videos, that it's very accurate. It tells you when to shift, that kind of thing. GT Sport, uh, I've noticed that on some occasions where it tells you to shift down, you really don't have to. For example, here. Okay, I probably should have shifted down. <laughs> but I think to me, I've found the cutoff point. The cutoff point into where I should stop putting traction control off. Like, this is off. This is off. And I did two minutes. So that was quite impressive to me, honestly. I, I didn't think I'd actually ever be able to do two minutes on any track. 
like ever, even if the track was like a straight line, like a drag race or something. But, but no, I, th this is the cutoff point. I think if any a car, a car any faster than this, and it feels almost as if I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it with traction off. I mean, I think I'd be able to. But to be fair, the only other track we can use the higher power cars on right now is the Nurburg. And I, I put, I've got to say, not the best tr choice of having 18 high powered cars flying around the bloody Nurburg ring like that. Like that's that's just it's too much. It's too much. See, didn't have to break that early, but I did. We're gonna have to deal with it now. We can't undo what we just did. So how about? Full throttle out of the corner. So you can probably see why this is my favorite track. It's quite simple. We got two minutes, like probably 15, which was, I mean, it's pretty awful compared to my original time, but I'm essentially just trying to live commentate while doing this because that's the main thing I've got to practice. Live commentating while actually playing GT Sport. I can do uh, GT Sport. I can do commentating, I think. I mean, my subscriber count says so, but... <laughs> What I can't manage to do 100% right now is do both at the same time. And that's something I want to work on. It's going to really stress me the hell out. I'll tell you that much, but no, I didn't need to do that. I'm going to shift down there anyway. Felt like I actually needed the two mid-corner. And we're going to spin. I just pressed the XMB button on my wheel. Brilliant. Bang it down to third. I know, rev limiter, shut up. It doesn't matter. The people will be moaning. You're in the rev limiter. Great a lot early again, but whatever. Got to deal with it. No point whinging over it. But as you can clearly see, this track is much wider than the Nurburgring. Much, much wider than the Nurburgring. So that's that's what frustrates me a little bit about the the fastest cars being thrown onto the Nurburg. The Nurburg is a very tight course, and this you would have so much more room to just not contact each other. That's one thing. The game penalizes you for smashing into other people. I can't get past people. Like, I just physically can't. This track, no problem whatsoever. Bang it out to second. Oh, shit. I wasn't concentrating. See what I mean? See what I mean? I messed that up, and that was a good lap as well. That was a decent lap. It wasn't the best lap ever, because it's nowhere near my two minutes mark. But I'd say it's pretty close. As you can clearly see, I would say, I would argue, that I've improved massively. Uh, actual circuit racing here. We shaved eight seconds off. What I'm gonna do now is one quiet lap. Let's give this a go. One other thing I wanted to try is a silent lap. I'm now gonna attempt to do a lap in where I'm pretty quiet. I, I, I make a couple of comments, but my main focus is driving. So let's actually see how that works. Here we go. Starting off as soon as we get past that timer. Let's go. Probably got to go away with not letting me off there as well. But either way, it worked. That corner, I missed your jaw the time. I don't have to break that early. You got to remember the brakes on this thing is a freaking insane. It breaks on most of the cars in this game that we actually got access to are insane. So right, let's try and get this better next time or this time. better. Improved. Improved. Final part now. So, I can't really tell exactly how well I'm doing until the end. Like, that's that's my judgment off at the moment. Could have done that a little bit later, but I always get kind of worried on that corner, because it's the final corner. I don't want to mess it up. If I mess it up, then I've just ruined the whole lap, so. I think it's going to be a little bit longer than my normal time. But only by 
about two seconds. So that's not too bad. Two minutes, two seconds. I'm going to go exit that now. Two minutes, two. We did some miles, three miles. <laughs> Felt like more. But that, my friends, was me playing some GT Sport. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this in, in this style. What I'd like, you know, what you'd like me to change, that kind of thing. Because... I just want to be experimental with this game, and I think this is probably one of the best ways to do it. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.